So yes, today is a very big day because finally Bethesda has officially confirmed the date for their big Xbox and Bethesda game showcase. Now expect to see actual Starfield gameplay on this day. Plus today we're going to talk about recent leaks for Starfield and these are by far the most controversial leaks we've ever seen for this game. But we're also going to be talking about more official stuff as well. The long term future of this game and long term support. Some very exciting stuff going on there but yeah let's talk about this date right here check it out from bethesda officially it says it's game time join us for the xbox and bethesda game showcase on june 12th save the day hashtag xbox bethesda and yeah they did link to a blog post but if you want to know the specific time check it out here it says right here june 12th at 10 a.m pacific time so mark that on your calendars everyone if you, and if you do miss it don't worry come back here to open world games i have you guys covered smack that subscribe button remember to follow me out here because i'm going to be going all in on starfield doing breakdowns and everything else and also join my discord i have a starfield discord so you don't miss anything at all relating to starfield i'm also going to be providing support for mods and that sort of thing some exciting stuff there but yeah let's get into this a little bit more it says here the xbox and bethesda game showcase let's zoom this in will include everything you need to know about the diverse lineup of games coming soon to the xbox ecosystem including upcoming releases to game pass on xbox and pc now it's made me think you have to remember also yes we will be seeing starfield on june 12th but what about this we have a mysterious unannounced game from bethesda that they have been working on so hopefully we learn more about that as well that would really be cool to see whatever it is they're working on in their whole portfolio at bethesda because some exciting stuff going on over there since the acquisition uh by microsoft i am sure all right so let's keep going shall we we got to talk about these recent crazy leaks says right here former bethesda employee leaks starfield details a verified former bethesda game studio employee leaks a few minute details about starfield including its current state of development now just because they're a confirmed former bethesda employee does not mean everything on this list in true is true uh because yeah we're going to get into that a little bit more but this comes from heavy 008 which by the way since he leaked this stuff he has removed all of his posts um because i guess he's freaked out that bethesda would come after him but anyway let's get into this right now zoom it in for you all so you can see this it says how is your time there is todd as charismatic as he looks in the interview and i gotta ask how starfield looking do you think it will hit the release date sorry for the bombardment of questions lol so the response from the leaker is this it was a cool solid place to work very secure so you know what that's good to hear now they say the engine is a piece of crap though now he does expand on this in just a moment it's not what you think he means he corrects himself and it says furthermore todd is a charismatic guy for sure starfield is looking good weekly thursday playtest since the beginning of the year more and more stuff coming online shooting feels all right flying is terrible at the moment in my opinion just not fun to me now i think this pretty much says that we would be getting manual space flight that has not been 100 confirmed remember this is a leak take it with a grain of salt but I think we will be getting space flight. Now it says lighting and stuff is looking better and better, though it's not on the level of Horizon Forbidden West or anything like that, but still a good looking game. In terms of what it will ship on time or if it will ship on time, well, they will try, that's for sure. They'll have to cut what they have to. They have an overabundance of content. Well, that's good news. Probably too much, so that's not the issue. Finding the fun and, of course, bug fixing is the big thing. It's a sexy date, though, and you only get one of those. Beta is this summer. That's when the picture will truly become clear. So there's some sort of beta. I'm not going to say or suggest that this is going to be some sort of open beta that you guys will be able to play. I think this might be more of an internal beta, so please do not get excited too much. Now, we need to talk about this actual leak, of course, in this leaker before we go on in the verification process here. Now, check this out right here. This is uh, from a general manager of Reset Era. He says, yeah, he did work for Bethesda for a long time. Actually, you actually need to provide positive proof of such things to get a verified tag on Era. So yeah, he worked for Bethesda. So in some way, they managed to confirm that he did work for Bethesda. Even Jason Schreier, you know him, he also said this, can confirm that Heavy 008 was legit, can't necessarily back up everything they said, but they were definitely 
who they said they were. Hope the lawyers aren't going after them. Oh boy. Now, of course, he says, I texted that Scalzi list of bullet points to a source who know, and they responded, BS. Scalzi has also been wrong in the past, like most Bethesda insiders, excuse me, all of whom were spreading misinformation about Starfield's release date. Yep, there are at least two Warcraft mobile games in development. Okay, so that's that's other news right there uh, beyond Starfield. But yeah, it just seems like this leak is very much hit or miss, in my opinion. That's how all leaks are. And even the mod team out on the Starfield subreddit, the fastest growing Starfield Reddit, said this. We will leave this up for discussion's sake, but this doesn't confirm anything about the game itself. The only attempt at confirmation was about an account, not any of the legitimacy of anything within the game or its content. Jason, he's referring to Jason Schreier, goes on to say he can't confirm anything said, only who the account was. So just remember that about this leak as we continue onward here. Now, furthermore, Heavy says this right here. He was asked, or Quali Ford said this, the info that surprised everyone wasn't the fact that flying simply exists in the game. It's that you went out of your way to say that the engine is garbage and you find the flying to be horrible. Not typical of someone to say uh, if they don't want any attention on them, especially since you've already been banned for a similar thing. Sorry to be harsh. I'm just clarifying why people might be questioning you harder than normal. He says this, the engine isn't great and I don't like the feel of the flying. That's just my personal opinion. I've never been banned for anything of the sort. I've been banned for hostility. That's it. This is a forum you can go and look this stuff up, you know. So yeah, some, of course, fighting going on within this thread. As you can see, people's uh, feathers are getting ruffled for sure. And he goes on to say this right here. This is the question. It says, how terrible is the flying? Should we be worried about it impacting the final product? He says, again, that's to me. You may love it, so it's hard to say. I'm really interested in knowing what some of you guys will think about the game in general. Very, very curious. Now, again, all of his stuff was deleted. He removed it. And then some other leakers also removed their post about this leak, simply because a lot of the information, as according to Jason Schreier, just can't be confirmed. It seems like half of it might be true, half of it might not be true. So that's the thing about leaks. That's what I wanted to talk about is that with leaks going forward, I'm going to let you guys know that they are very hit or miss. Remember, June 12th, anything officially from Bethesda is what you should be getting perhaps excited about. Do not get excited about leaks or that sort of thing. So anyway, let's get into more official stuff that's going on around, of course, Starfield. Check this out right here. It says, preparing for Starfield. This was posted on, guess where? Nexus Mods. So you guys know that Bethesda has a history of supporting the mod community and the mod community loves modding Bethesda games. So let's get into this post. It comes from uh, the mod team that's currently getting prepared for Starfield and to support this game. But there's also some really exciting stuff on the side of Bethesda with this. All right, the mod team goes on to say this. What we do know is Starfield will be using an updated version of the creation engine which has been used to power Skyrim, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76, which is in itself an evolution of the Gamebryo engine used by older titles. Now, Todd Howard has also confirmed in an AMA on Reddit that Starfield will have full mod support, which is great news for our community. And yes, I cannot wait for that. There's going to probably be so many crazy mods. You guys know that Skyrim, its life is built on mods basically right now. It is incredible what they've done with that. Now, it says right here, so what are we doing to prepare for Starfield? Glad you asked. We're slowly ramping up our efforts to create a community space for Starfield. This comprised of a few parts. So let's talk about that. Of course, they are going to be having a Starfield modding discord, Starfield modding forum, Starfield modding wiki, and of course a game section. But what about Bethesda? Is Bethesda really involved with this? So check it out. It says, that's not all. We're also actively engaging with our friends at Bethesda to learn more about the game and get more modding specific information that we can share with mod authors, tool developers, and the community to allow us to work together to create a modding community that could rival the ones for their previous game. So they are going all in on this. I, this is the one part that I am super hyped for when it comes to Starfield is the mod support. I cannot wait to see what they do here. All right, so now it's time to, of course, get into your top comments 
from my most recent Starfield video. So let me get that up right now. Remember, leave a comment down below. It could end up in a future Starfield video. You never know. So let's do this, shall we? So first and foremost, what was my video about? It says Starfield just got a new official update from Bethesda, new arts, big teases, and gameplay mechanics. If you missed it, we did get brand new concept arts, as you can see right here. They look absolutely beautiful and it shows the wide variety that we will be experiencing in terms of biomes and environments that we can explore in Starfield, which is super exciting. But find that previous video on the channel, of course. Now, we have Johnny who says this, for people that know Bethesda and Microsoft, big gameplay gonna be at June Microsoft conference and after much more detailed aspects in the teasers from Bethesda, pretty sure. And if you look at concept art of Fallout 4 and Skyrim, you know this is pretty much concept back to the game gameplay mechanics. Not graphically speaking, but details and layers of scenario, mastering big worlds with lots of expression. And so this is why Bethesda is getting all this hype in all of their AAA own releases. That's a lot of potential and a lot to get. Can't wait till now none of the Bethesda game studio games, not talking about their other studios like Zenimax, etc., disappointed me. Even Fallout 4 and their split uh, from 3 or New Vegas. That is from Ascidian Edit. Now announced Microsoft Bethesda conference. Yes, absolutely. June 12th, can't wait, dude. And yes, we should be hearing a lot more about Starfield with dev diaries and things like that after June 12th. So again, stay tuned. I have you guys covered no matter what. Remember, also follow me on the Discord. Join the community right now. You won't regret it. I have you guys covered now. Also, we have this one right here in the comments below. Man, I buy an art of Starfield book even if they never release the game. Beautiful. They are insanely talented and i cannot wait to see this concept art turn into reality through gameplay casio says i'm hopeful that starfield will be the game in 2022 surpassing elden ring in storytelling characters in open world there's a whole atmosphere that reminds me a bit of the movie interstellar which for me is a masterpiece of cinema let's wait yeah we'll have to see what happens there um you know i don't get into the whole elden ring versus starfield i think they're going to be two entirely unique games and hold their own so yeah i'm gonna be playing both but when starfield releases i'm going all in on that i cannot freaking wait i think other games are going to be delayed and get out of the way of this one because it's going to be so big but there it is the latest happenings around bethesda and of course starfield stay tuned for more because yeah they have that unannounced game that i'm so curious about as well there's rumors of Starfield MMO, Starfield Online, that sort of thing. We'll have to wait and find out what happens. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you all next time. Take care.